Hi there, I'm going to show you how to start a or how to do an applique on an SE425, which I'm um, understanding is in the 400 to 500 series of the Brother sewing machines, um, sewing and embroidery machines. So I'm just going to show you real quick how I hoop my stabilizer. Sorry about that. So there's my stabilizer and I'm just going to pin my towel is a little too thick to go in the hoop. So I'm going to pin my hoop or my fabric to the hoop. I'll be right back. Okay, so the pins are all in and I'm just using water soluble stabilizer in the back and it's the Sulky brand. Um, I don't have any white um, stabilizer right now so since I'm just doing a tutorial I didn't think you guys would mind so much but I would probably use a tear away on the back um, and then we're going to use water sta soluble stabilizer on the top as well but we're not going to do that until we get all of the fabric tacked down so I'm going to go ahead and put this in the hoop and load the design Okay, and I usually just use the last um, color that was in there for the tack down stitches because we're not going to see them. So today we're going to do an applique design from Planet Applique called Beach Bum. And it's really, really cute. And we're going to put it on this little hand towel. Okay. All right. So this is something I think that's kind of intimidating to a lot of people. Whenever they load an applique design, it comes with 20 thread changes and you're like, what? So a lot of things are tripled um, because it's an applique file. So you can go into your check color and see everything. Um, also, with all of Planet Applique's designs, she sends a picture. So I don't know how well this is going to show you. I don't know if it's a she either, I just assume. Um, so this is Beach Bum, this is what we're going to do. So we have a picture to work with and she shows you what each color change is going to be. So in most of her designs, when they're black or red, they're going to be the tide, or the the stitch, the, the die line, and then also the tack down stitch. Those are usually what's red and, um, oh yeah, back up here, sorry. What's usually red and black in her designs? Their designs. I apologize. All right, so you're going to see it's going to do the applique part first. So, oh no, it's not. Okay, so the first thing it's going to do on number one is going to be where it's going to do beach. And it's going to do that all in a satin stitch, but in a font that comes with the design. And then the second one is going to be the um, die line for the B. It's going to show you where you need to put your um, applique material. And the applique material should be just regular cotton um, with the uh, Pellon um, iron-on. Oh gosh, I can't even remember what it's called. I just have a basket full of stuff that's already has it attached to it. So I don't even think about what it's called anymore. I'm so sorry. Okay, so number three is going to be once the fabric is there, it's going to be the tack down stitch. And then number four is going to be the, um, the pretty satin stitch. And then it moves on to you and it's all the same thing so it looks like there's a lot of different changes but it's just because it's all takes steps to get everything through so let's put you back on the tripod 
and show you how I do this. I'm sorry my videos are so long. I'm still getting used to trying to figure out how to make them and make them go fast. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and just do beach. And I usually don't put this soluble stabilizer down until it's doing satin stitches, but since this one is starting with a satin stitch, I'm just going to go put a strip down here. It's going to cover the whole entire thing. And as it's stitching, you know, just kind of keep your hand on on the thing. I don't want to use spray glue because I like to just be able to use my stuff as soon as I use it. I don't want to have to throw it in the wash and then use it since all this stuff has already been washed. Um, and this stuff is so easy to peel off that you can just move on with your project. So that's what I really like to do. I'm going to go ahead and put this down. I was going to do it all in blue, but I think I'm going to get a variegated, variegated thread just to make it pretty. If you haven't been over to Planet Applique's website yet, you really should. It's one of my very, very, very favorites. Okay, so we have the variegated thread on there. We have a long enough lead and it's all ready to go. And I'm going to press play and it's going to take my thread and it's going to get going. And I'll be back in a few minutes. I forgot about that. So that first little stitch is just her there. I'm so sorry, I keep saying that. It's like a little thing that says Planet Applique, but it ruins your work. Oh, it's so annoying. I forgot that they do that. They only do that every once in a while, and I don't know why. All right, well, since this is just a tutorial, please ignore that. So I'm going to go to adjust and move on to the next one. It's going to show me where to put my B for beach bum. And I'm using metallic thread. It seems to work just fine for me, and a lot of people have problems with it, but... Okay, so there's my B. I want my B. I want this whole thing to be a kind of teal color. I don't know why. Just do. I've already done one applique today, but it was red and white and blue, and it was really pretty and probably would go good with this design, but I think I'm going to like this. Okay. Okay, so that's cool. Isn't that fun? <laughs> okay, so hopefully you can see down here. I'm just going to cut it real quick. But I kind of have a method about doing it. I like to look at the back while I'm cutting it. Because the top is going to be really smooth. And your scissors won't get caught on anything. But if you do it just trying to stab it down in there, you don't have full control. So, And it's kind of hard to cut when it's on the hoop. But it's still actually better because you can pull a little bit tighter. It doesn't have to be perfect because the satin stitch is going to grab a whole bunch of it, but you do want it to be pretty close. 
if you can cut it, cut it, but don't go crazy about it. Half of the cuteness in this stuff is whenever it's not perfect. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to get little ones, but once you get used to doing it, you'll know where the satin stitch will cover and what's probably still going to stick out, and then you can decide if you want to fight with it, but I generally don't seem to have too much of an issue. And I'm not going to cut out the middles because, again, the satin stitch is going to be so fat, it's going to fill it in anyways. So don't stress out about cutting that stuff out. Let's get it back onto the machine. And do cut out every time you have to change a letter. I know it sounds tedious, but it's actually makes it really cute and it's totally worth it, in my opinion. Okay. And now it's gonna do a pretty satin stitch around our bee. Okay, here is the bottom portion of the applique. And I did it all in metallic thread just because I love it. It's so pretty. And um, But the second one is just a blue metallic thread. And let's try to get a better look at it. Maybe from that direction. So it covered up that planet applique um, little stitch that it tried to do at the beginning that I got upset about. It just covered it up. Um, it's in the middle of the U, so it's totally awesome. Completely gone. Um, this first one, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a bean stitch with the light blue over the top of the rainbow. And I didn't do the bean stitch on the other two because I wanted to be able to show you the difference. So I'm going to move on to finish it, but I just wanted to stop and talk about those things for a second. Okay, here's the finished project product before I take it out of the hoop. The reason I like the sulky stuff that I can find at um, anywhere, I didn't save the packaging or I would let you know exactly what kind it was, but you can just peel it off. You don't have to go wash it first for it all to come off like the the more um, fabric-y type kind. This is just like plastic, like a mud mask. So you <laughs> peel it right off. For the ones that are hard to get, like there, you can kind of dig in just a little bit, pull it off, and there might be some in little places. And it will wash off, so you don't have to, you know, you don't have to do all this, but I like to see the finished product immediately. I hate having to wait to wash it. So. That's all of that off of there. I'm going to go ahead and take the pins off. I'll put those over here. And I can just rip this right off as well. Bum! Beach bum. All done. How cute is that? Alrighty, thanks everybody.